Just as the sailors of old warned of treacherous creatures that roamed the open oceans, so too did the brave astronauts traveling the cosmos. In the darkest corners of space, in the empty abyss sprawling between the galaxy oasis, alien beings lie and wait to tempt travelers off course. Hey Apollo, if you take me out shopping today, maybe I'll finally be ready for that kiss. Their beauty is legendary, unimaginable in the realms of men. Aw, babe, I can't wait to see you either. Love you. Ugh, he is so annoying. But at least I can always get him to pay for my dinner. But nothing can compare to their haunting voices, whose songs bring tears to the eyes of even the most stalwart souls. So beautiful, so majestic. A symphony of aura pleasure. I know, right? But at least he has a spaceship, so he can like take me anywhere I want, anytime I want. Prey drawn in by their alluring iridescence are hypnotized and paralyzed. Oh my god, Neptune, I'm going over to Steve's place. I hope his older brother's home. He is so hot. There is no escape. There is no escape. He told me it was the size of Mercury. Does he know that that's like the smallest planet in the solar system? I hope that you guys loved the video. I really wanted to do something with humor to lighten up all the tension of the competition and also kind of show you guys my personality. <laughs> all of the makeup products that I'm gonna be using today are by NYX Professional Makeup and let's just jump into the prop making. When I came up with my concept, I knew that I wanted to use these bubble bags as my fins. I knew that I wanted to do something with them from the very first challenge, but I wasn't sure what. Once I came up with the mermaid theme, I was like, yes. So I'm taking that purple bag to create the main fin and I'm sketching it up real quick, cutting it out and holding it up just to make sure that the sizing's accurate. And just to add a little bit of dimension and also break up that purple, I decided on a smaller blue fin to put in the center. I really wanted to create webbed fingers to tie in the whole look, also because I feel like how else is she supposed to be swimming through space, so I just placed my hand on the sheet to get a vision of how I want it to look, I drew it up, cut it out, and sized it up. Taking a hot glue gun, I'm gluing those two fins together, and I'm attaching them to the headband using another light layer of glue, and I'm just folding over that inner flap just to keep it like secure. Like, secure. To light my way through space and DeLorean astronauts simultaneously, I need an interesting yet effective lighting source. I'm applying a drop of hot glue to the tip of the thin wire rods just to attach the ping pong balls on, and then I'm painting the ping pong balls using this neon model car enamel just to make them look like they're glowing. The anglerfish was definitely my inspiration for this piece times three. <laughs> Now I'm just wrapping that wire around the headband to secure it, and I'm pretty much just bending it into shape. Like I've said before, I love using items that I already have. I just really feel that it boosts your creativity by imagining what you can transform something into. To start off the look, I'm gluing down my brows so that I can hide them later on, and making sure that your brows are a little damp before you add the glue is the trick to laying them down completely flat and being able to build on a ton of layers without it getting all cakey. I popped on these pink contact lenses and we're ready to sculpt out the cheeks using scar wax. My practice run for this look was completely different. I originally was gonna make these solid cheekbones, but when I went to re-sculpt it this time, I came up with the idea of making them into gills. So now it's just up to getting them as symmetrical as possible, which is definitely a strong undertaking. But I guess they're kind of like eyebrows. They're sisters, not twins. This scar wax is very sticky, so I'm using the SFX set setting powder to coat these, and then it's onto the base color of my Alien Mermaid. I'm using the Vivid Brights cream color in Endless Skies to coat the center of my face and down my chest. You can either use your fingers for this or a brush to apply the cream. I used my fingers for the most part, but I used a brush when it came to painting the gills since that structure is super tender. <laughs> tender. The amount of coverage in this pigment is honestly what's out of this world. <laughs> I went and bought it in every single color that they sell because I have a problem. 
For the outer areas of my body, I used another Vivid Brights cream color shade. This is such a beautiful pastel purple, it's called Sugar Rush. The colors that I originally chose for the look were Periwinkle and Magenta, but I really wanted to go more of the pastel route and make it more ethereal. To set that cream color and just to add a little bit of iridescence, I'm going in with the Holographic Halo Finishing Powder in the shade Mermazing, which is very fitting. <laughs> For the dot patterning on my face, I'm using the Vivid Brights liquid liners in the shades Vivid Blossom and Vivid Violet. My technique here is to hide most of my human features by creating an illusion that my forehead and my nose are wider, while also creating an interesting element with the spotting. To make it look more organic while also adding some depth, I thought it would be cool to transition the spots into a darker tone when layered on top of that purple. Transitioning into the eye look, I'm using the pigment primer as my base, and I'm taking that bright yellow shade from the Ultimate Brights palette to create a brill blown out, a blown out smoky eye. <laughs> I like couldn't talk. I decided on a yellow smoky eye to complement the purple tones, and just to add a little bit of life to the character. I'm using the black eye pencil on my waterline and the epic ink liner in black to create that dual top wing and single bottom wing. I was trying to think of a fierce winged look that would be like all the rage light years away. grabbing my On The Rise mascara to coat my top and bottom eyelashes, then I'm popping on these Wicked False Lashes in the style Jezebel. I've been dying to use this purple mascara and I knew that it would accent the yellow really well, so this is called Worth The Hype and it's in the shade Purple. They also have a really pretty blue shade. Now it's on to one of my all-time favorite things in life, which is shading. I'm grabbing that grape purple shade in the Ultimate Brights collection, and I'm buffing this along my forehead and chiseling out my chin. For my body, I wanted to create kind of an exoskeleton look to protect her from any debris while she's traveling through space, so I'm just shading around the edges to give the appearance like it's slightly raised. To make the gills look more organic, I coated the inside areas using the SFX cream color in Fuchsia. I know that gills are typically red, but keep in mind that this isn't a fish, it's a mermaid, so you never know. I'm just finishing up some shading around my cheekbone area, and then we're moving on to the lips. To create the shape of my lips, I'm using the sapphire eye pencil to line them. Then topping it off with the suede matte lipstick in the shade Subversive Socialite. To add some dimension and fun, I'm going in and I'm taking that duochromatic shimmer lip gloss and I'm adding this just right to the center of the lips. To create some depth within the gills, I'm using that charcoal shade from the Ultimate Ash Palette and I'm just shading the inside center of the gill. Now we're moving on to my second favorite part, which is highlighting. I'm using that I Love You So Moshi highlighting palette in the iridescent white shade, and I'm taking this to the top part of my cheekbones, my chin, and the corners of the exoskeleton just to make it pop out a little further. To create little nostrils, I used the Epic Ink Liner to make two dots, and I lightly shaded around them using the black eye pencil. To continue the dot patterning down my body, I'm going back in with that Vivid Brights liquid liner in the shade Vivid Violet. I wanted to add a touch of spotting along each in cove, just to bring interest to the chest piece without overshadowing it. Then I'm just adding a few lighter and darker spots to my chin just to pull it all together, and then I'm popping on my wig. When you think you're finished, always add glitter. I'm using the glitter primer first to hold the glitter in place, then I'm topping it off using the Glitter Brilliance in the shade Crystal, and I'm going over top of that cheek highlight and pretty much just coating my entire chest.
I'm adding on my headband. Oh, and I made this chic space bra out of the bubble bags as well. I just couldn't show it because it definitely would have gotten me flagged. I'm just bumping up my hair to hide some of the wiring on my headband. I'm gluing on my light bubble to the center of my chest. And last but not least, I finished coating my hands and I added on my nails and glued on the webbing. And that's the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching and a huge thank you to NYX Professional Makeup for this amazing opportunity to be part of the top 15. This is honestly a dream within itself. I can't believe I'm part of the top 15. But if you'd like to vote me in for the top 5, you can click the link in my bio. You can vote up to 3 times per day per email address. So if you have multiple emails, you can use those as well. Just saying. <laughs> I love you guys and thank you so much for being here. Oh, 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 oh.